Hi Year 2 and welcome to a maths meeting for today, Tuesday the 23rd of February 2021. As always, you need something to write with and something to write on. If you don't have those things, pause the video and go and get them because we are ready to get started. Join in with me. 30 days have September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except February alone, which has but 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. I know you're good at this rhyme now. So use it to help you answer the questions. How many days are there in March and how many days are there in December? Pause the video while you write down your answers. How many days are there in March? 31. There are 31 days in March. And how many days are there in December? 31. There are 31 days in December. Well done. Let's have a look at how rich Benny is today in his bank. He's got five coins in his bank. Let's double check we know the value of these coins before you start counting. This coin here is a... 10 pence. And this coin here is a 1 pence. Pause the video while you work out how much Benny has all together. Okay, I've got a 10, a 10, a 10, four tens. I know that four tens is equal to 40, and I can always double check 10, 20, 30. 40. And then I've just got one more. One more than 40 is 41. Remember, you need the P afterwards to show that you were counting money and pence. 41 pence altogether. Multiples. Right, I've got a pattern here. I wonder if you can spot with these numbers what is the same about all of these numbers? They all end in a zero. What do we know about numbers that end in a zero? They are multiples of 10. I suspect that these are counting in multiples of 10. Are the numbers increasing or decreasing? I've got 100 here. And 20 down here, 20 is definitely less than 100, so the numbers must be decreasing. Now I know the pattern is counting in tens and the numbers are decreasing. Pause the video while you work out what these missing numbers are. Double check when you've written them down that the pattern follows the multiples. OK, let's have a look. Remember, they're probably multiples of 10. So all of your answers should end in a zero. I've got 100, 90, 80, 10 less than 80 is 70, 10 less than 70 is 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Our missing numbers were 80, 70 and 10. Let me just double check. I'm more confident in counting in tens increasing. So I'm going to start at 10. Join in with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Fantastic. I need my multiples of 10 to help me answer this next equation. Here's an image of some colouring pencils. There are four packs and in each pack there are 10 pencils. You can see the label there. Can you please use this picture to help you answer the questions? How many packs? That's how many groups are there. How many in each pack? And then Use that information to help you write your multiplication equation. 
I want to know how many pencils are there all together. Pause the video while you work it out. Okay, how many packs? One, two, three, four packs. There are four groups here. In each group, there are 10 pencils. 10 pencils in each pack. That means I've got four packs of 10 pencils. How many do I have all together? 10, 20, 30, 40. Ten, four packs of 10 pencils is equal to 40. I can use this information to write my multiplication equation. 4 multiplied by 10 or 4 groups of 10 is equal to 40. Very well done. Okay, 10 more and 10 less. 10 more than 28 is something. I've drawn the Deans here to help you. 10 less than 82 is something. These Deans, let's check 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 82. These show 82. What is 10 less than 82? Pause the video while you answer these two questions. Okay, 10 more than 28 is, well, I'm only adding a 10. I don't need to touch the ones. I've got two 10s. One more than two is three. So 10 more than 28 is 38. 10 less than 82 is, I'm taking 10 less. I don't need to touch the ones. I've got eight tens. I'm taking one away. One less than eight is seven. So 10 less than 82 is 72. Oh, I've got a challenge for you. We're going to be practicing this week. If I know four plus two is equal to six, what else? Do you know? I've given you one equation. I want you to use your year one brain and your year two brain to have a think. What related equations do you know? I'll give you a hint on the first one. If I know four plus two equals six, then I know two plus four equals six. Do you know any subtraction equations? or any multiples of 10 that match this equation. There's quite a few, so pause the video and see how many you can write down. Okay, if I know four plus two equals six, then for sure I know two plus four equals six, and six subtract four equals two, 6 subtract 2 equals 4. That's what we used to focus on in year 1. Now you also know our multiples of 10 can be related. If I know 4 plus 2 equals 6, then I also know 40 plus 20 equals 60 and 60 subtract 40 equals 20. 60 subtract 20 equals 40. Some of you, I'm sure, would have written down more related facts, including hundreds. If I know 4 plus 2 equals 6, then I know 400 plus 200 equals 600. Well done if you've written down some of those related facts. We're going to be practicing more of those this week. You've just finished your unit on data and statistics. So I'm sure you can tell me, having a look at this pictogram, which fruit was the most popular and how many children were asked all together. Now be careful because on this pictogram, each picture has the value of two children.
pause the video to answer the questions. Which fruit was the most popular? I can see straight away it was the banana. Most number of children picked banana. How many children were asked all together? Well, I know that each of these pictures is worth two. So I can count in twos to find out the total. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26 children were asked all together. And lastly, Shia and her shapes. Here's a clue for you. She's thinking of a six sided shape. Its edges are equal. Six sided shape. What shape is she thinking of? A hexagon. Six sided shape, six sides, six vertices. It's a hexagon. And that is the end of today's maths meeting. Very well done, you two. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow.